I'm not going to be able to wipe this smile off my face for a very long time. What is going on guys? This is Jonathan with another video for Crazy Shadow 303. Oh my days, this is your FA Cup round four Liverpool versus West Bromwich Albion review. The game finished literally half an hour ago and oh what a game. It had it all. It had VAR, it had penalty misses, it had injuries, you know, oh my god. And well, in the end we actually did it. We actually beat Liverpool. And man, I, I mean I know I know it's only been half an hour from the game, but oh my god. The emotions right now are so high. You know, this is what we needed. This needs to be the turning point of our season. This is the result that will give West Brom Jalbian the confidence to go on and stay in the league. You know, I mean, I was happy with the point we got against them in December, granted. But to go to Anfield, Anfield, beat them 3-2... It was 3-1 at one point. Really, it should have been 4-1, but we'll get to that later. You know, not many um, non-Albion fans are going to agree with me on that respect, but I'll talk about that in a bit. But, as a, you know, it was a good game of football, VIR incidents um, aside. And, yeah, everyone, basically, after what Liverpool did with Everton in the last round, everyone thought... Liverpool were going to cakewalk this. In fact, um, earlier today at work, uh, I was doing a delivery at work, and the driver, you know, we got talking, and it turned out he was an Evertonian. <laughs> so his, his, uh, his response to me was, get revenge for us, you know, do one for us, beat the cop, beat Liverpool, you know, uh, amongst, you know, congratulations for the point that we had. Um, last week against them so you know in two weeks now this is why we needed to get rid of Pulis at this, you know if we had Pulis we would have lost against Everton and we would have got lost against Liverpool no doubt even at their worst you know if Pulis was there yeah. Pardew has come in he said right we're going to do this this and this it's taken a while granted but this is finally where, you know, everyone who said we needed to get rid of Pulis, this is justified. You know, because what has happened, we beat Brighton in, in, the, last, in the last two weeks. Well, three weeks. We've beat Brighton. We've drawn against Everton. And we beat Liverpool in the FA Cup. We're in the draw for round five. If Pulis was still in charge, we wouldn't be dreaming of that, you know. We'd have probably had no points from Brighton again. We'd have had no points from Everton. And, yeah, we'd be knocked out. So, you know, well done, Pardew. Um, I did say in a tweet earlier, if ever there was a time for the Pardew dance, you know, Crystal Palace fans will know where I'm coming from with this. Uh, now was the time. Today was the time for a Pardew dance. And, wow, that was something. Um, the VAR incidents, well, you know, our disallowed goal. Now, my opinion of that was, if it was going to be given for offside, then the player who's offside has to be interfering with play. By interfering, I mean, touch the ball or, you know, influence the flight of the ball. Barry didn't influence the flight of the ball. To be honest, I think Mignolet wanted the VAR in the first place because he was saying that Barry was impeding him. You know, it's a corner. You know, maybe Barry was there to like um, mix it up a bit. You know, this is football. And obviously, you know, we know a thing or two about corners. You know, so. <laughs> You know, most goals from corners or something last season. So, yeah. If it was going to be disallowed for anything like that, it was probably going to be for 
uh, what's the word, encroachment, I think, um, of the goalkeeper. Not sure what the term is. Let me know in the comments below um, if you know what I'm referring to. It, it's when the, um, the outfield player obviously moves in a way that obstructs the uh, goalkeeper or the goalkeeper's view or something like that. I think it's, I think it's called encroachment, but if the VAR was going to do anything for that, then, you know, then fair enough, to be honest. But to give, to disallow the goal for offside, no. It wasn't interfering with the ball. Dawson headed that straight in, didn't touch anyone else. Uh, I know not everyone will agree with me, but as an Albion fan, that's my opinion. So to give it for offside is just ridiculous. You know, and BT Sport can say all they want. You know, I watch the game on BT Sport. They can say all they want about that. If it was going to be given for offside, he'd have to, you know, go with, you know, influence the flight of the ball. And he never touched the ball. Uh, like I said, if it was going to be given for anything, encroachment. Then, minutes later, the penalty incident. Um, yes, Livermore's got his hands on Salah. But the way Salah goes down, I mean, anyone who follows my channel knows I play a lot of Call of Duty. It was like Salah had just been taken down by a sniper. You know, and I can't understand how the referee didn't look at that and say, well, he essentially dived. And, you know, again, no, not everyone will agree with me in that respect. But, you know, it, if he did, he didn't fall in a natural way. You know, if, if, if Livermore did pull him down to the ground, then Salah obviously, you know, didn't fall in a natural way. And, um, yeah, the, you know, that, that's what got me. How, how could he award the penalty um, when Salah, you know, goes down like that? And, yeah. But, in my opinion, justice was done because Firmino just crashed it off the bar. So... <laughs> So, yeah, of all people to miss a penalty, you know, Firmino. So, you knew Liverpool was having an off day if Firmino missed from 12 yards. And, yeah, then the other, the other goals, Rodriguez, absolute, you know, absolute immaculate, brilliant performance. Foster in goal, the saves he done, absolutely amazing, you know, Top draw saves, especially um, I think he'd done a double save about 10 minutes from time uh, when the score was at 3-2. Um, actually, no, it was in injury time when it was 3-2. And, yeah, brilliant from Foster. Can, this is a team who, just this morning, was battling like a flu virus or something like that. Half the team was out with the flu. And for most of them to come back, you know... Um, I think Foster had it, Hazagi had it. Um, I'm not sure who else, but yeah. Brilliant guys for battling through. And yeah, okay, their goals. Yeah, you, you'd expect Liverpool to get a couple of goals, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, we hung on, we dug in. We stuck it out the last, um, last 10 minutes or so, uh, when it was 3-2, because... Oh my God, I think fans from both teams were biting their nails. It was that tense at the end. And yeah, I'm just glad that we uh, we managed to pull it off. Um, yeah, brilliant. 3-2, I'll take that. Like I said earlier in the video, this is the turning point now. This is where we can build confidence and, you know, get, you know, survive the league Okay, we've now got a fifth round, um, fifth round tie to contest. Um, who I would prefer in the draw? Um, obviously, you know I would love a local derby. Uh, so if Birmingham can somehow beat Huddersfield because they drew one one and they've got a replay, uh, I won't mind Birmingham. <laughs> um, and who? Which other Midland team? Coventry. You know I wouldn't mind. Birmingham or Coventry in the next round. Who I want to avoid? It's obvious, isn't it? Man City, Man United, uh, yeah, Chelsea, 
you know, any of the big teams, um, even though we have beaten a big team today. Uh, but yeah, can we make two in a row? Maybe, maybe not, but I don't really want to find out until like quarterfinal or semi-final. So round five, let's just get a nice, easy team. Uh, well, I say easy, yeah, you know. <laughs> no team's easy in the FA Cup. I mean, Newport nearly knocked Spurs out earlier, so. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I know I haven't done any West Brom Jarbian videos for a long time, not since... Um, the start of December I think it is uh, partly because I've been working you know all hours of the day and night and I just haven't had the time but you know and my laptop uh, my laptop went on the blink as people probably know by now so yeah um, I hope to get some more Albion videos out um, pretty soon um, not sure who we've got next in the league. Um, I'll have to look that one up. But I will try to get a review out for you guys. And yeah. Up the baggies. Onwards and upwards. Round five, here we come. Let's hope for an easy team. <laughs> Thanks so much for, for watching guys. Um, check out my social media links. They'll be in the description below. And yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.